In front of me I have a document open with various headings which I would like to insert into a table of contents. Decide where you would like to include the table of contents into the document. Maybe change the format so that it suits you and scroll down to check your heading styles. Make sure that each heading have been allocated a style. For example, this one have been allocated a heading 1 style, this one is a heading 2. Lower down in the document I have a, another heading 2 style. Here we have a heading 2 and this one has been allocated a heading 3 style. Each of the headings need to be allocated a heading style if you want to include it into the table of contents. Now scroll back to where you would like to add your table of contents. Go to the References tab, Table of Contents. You can use one of these standard templates or you can modify and create your own. Click on Custom Table of Contents to create your own Table of Contents. Go to Modify. Now you have to modify each of these Table of Contents 1, 2 and 3 in order to modify the three levels which you would like to include into your Table of Contents. To modify, click on Table of Contents 1, Modify, Times New Roman, we want it black, we want it size 12, click OK. Go to the next. This is the next level of heading that will be included in the Table of Contents. We still want it to size 12, we want it black, and click OK. Heading 3, we also want Times New, New Roman font and Maybe a size 11 will be good for heading 3, and we still want it black. Here you can choose how you want the format to look like. Click OK. We want three level headings to show, and click OK. And here you have your automatic table of contents. If you change the, the um, format of the rest of the document and the page numbers are influenced, just right click update field, update the entire table and your table of contents will be updated.